What is up, Shocky fans? So this is like the fourth time I've been trying to make this freaking video. Every time I do it, something goes wrong. I don't know what the fuck's going on today. And also, there's something, like, something that between my eyebrows looks like red or like brown. Like, what the, what is going on today? Okay. So we're going to be reviewing Oral Flexation Except Spanish Edition. I'm not even going to try to say the actual words in Spanish because Fahashian? Like, I don't know. That's, like, really hard for me to pronounce for some reason. So... I'm gonna say this is probably my favorite Shakira album. I really have to say it because, actually, you know what? In the concluding sentences, we will explain why, but I will say, I think it's my favorite. I have to say it. Mm -hmm. But obviously, it always depends on your mood. Like, sometimes it switches up. Like, sometimes, okay, Laundry Service would be my favorite or She Wolf, depending on what I'm feeling. But, like, this album, I feel like you can always listen to it no matter when. Like, it has so many different type of jams that, like, you can always listen to it. But, um... Let's go track by track, and here we go. Okay, so into poopias, poopias, but just so I don't know. Ever since like it's been like a year since I took Spanish, and I took it for like seven years, and now I like can't pronounce anything. Like I don't know what's going on with me. Um, so if you watch if you watch the oral fixation review, you know I love this translation in English. Although someone wrote in the comments this morning that um. The English version of this is actually, she did that one first, and then she translated it onto this album, into Spanish, which is actually really interesting to me. I think she did the same thing with Objection. Um, and I think it actually kind of shows if that's true, because something is better to me in English. For the first time, usually her Spanish songs are always better than the English, but this one, I'd rather listen to something. Does anyone agree with that? But either way, it's beautiful in both, both songs. Love. It's so lush. The melody, the melodies are so perfect that no matter what you're singing, no matter what lyric, it's just gonna slay. A beautiful way to open the album. Usually I'm not a fan of a ballad to open an album, but this one totally fits. It just like really sets the mood for the rest of the album. My opinion. Okay, next song. La Pared. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know how to speak Spanish. I don't know what's going on with me anymore. This song is amazing. I fucking love this song, and I like the uh, the acoustic version, I think, at the end. Amazing. Both of them. So good. I believe she's saying, after you, the wall. So, like, after you, bitch, there's... I'm stopped. I hit the wall, girl. I need you. I'm assuming. The chorus is amazing. The chorus is my favorite part of the song. I love the way she sings it. So much emotion. The Bajo bitch. Yes! Cindy. Amazing. The production again. She's, this is, to me, this album is her most like, I don't know how to explain it. I want to say theatrical. It's not, that's not really the word I'm looking for. Tell me if you know what I'm saying. Like, kind of like dramatic. All the production is very dramatic on this album. And I fucking live for it. I live for it. And my favorite part of the song, Let's bring it. This part, we have to, we have to listen. I love when she uses that. The power, the power in that voice. I don't give a shit. That's my favorite part. And then when she does, the acoustic version doesn't have that, I don't think. So it kind of pisses me off because I love it. Does anyone else love that part? It's like the fav my favorite part of the song. Amazing. Amazing song. Should have been a single. It really should have been. La Tortura. Okay. I think we all agree that this song is a literally classic Shakira. A classic everything. Just like this is... A, woo, this song. I can listen to on repeat like 24-7 and never get sick of it. I've never in my life gotten sick of this song. The lyrics... Amazing. The even this guy, Alejandro Sanz, I don't know who the hell he is, but he slays his parts. They have such good chemistry on this song. Oh my god. I love uh, the way uh, mm -mm. and the music video, I will never forget the first time I saw that. Yeah, me duele tanto, bitch. Me duele tanto. All this, this is the perfect song. I can't. You know a song is perfect when the verses the chorus and the pre-chorus are all so catchy. Like, you can't pick a favorite part of the song. 
my opinion. Literally, start to finish, it's amazing. Dude. And I like actually the part the the half English version too. I just love it all. She fucking slayed this song. But anyway, so the music video. First time I saw it, I was like, what, like nine years old when that came out? And I remember my cousin, I'm always talking about my cousins, but whatever. All right, so they were like, bitch, get in here. Like Shakira is slaying this video. And like, we were all in the room and like I came in and I was seeing her in that like grease. And everyone just really, we all unanimously agreed that this bitch is fucking slays. She is so hot, the, the belly dancing, the, the fierceness in her face. I feel like we haven't gotten that in a little bit of a while. And like now she's very playful in all her videos. Right? I feel like I didn't get like a slayful Shakira in a, in a little bit of a while. But this video is like peak. Ugh, amazing. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Optina Un Si. This is my favorite song on the album, I think. It is. I don't give a shit. I have to say I don't give a shit because I know that people act like this song is like so basic or like cheesy. But you know I love the cheese. And it's so different, it's so pretty, it's like so romantic. Like you, I would never have thought that Shakira would make a song like this. It's very like, it's like, a, like I feel like I'm in a restaurant like eating like fancy veal and like wine and like someone's like singing it on a piano or like whatever the fuck the instruments are on this. There is no piano in this, but you know what I mean. Oh my God, the way she sings this song. Yeah, so soft, so smooth, so sensual. That little do -do -do -do, like such a movie soundtrack. Maybe that's why I love it. I love the song. Tell me how you guys feel about this song because I feel like I have to fight people on the Shakira media forums about this song. Because whenever I see people writing about it, they're like, yeah, that song could like, that's filler. I'm like, no, absolutely not. This is like my favorite Shakira song. First time I heard it, I had it on repeat, but I bought this song before I bought the album. This and La Tortura. All right, let me go to the next song before I just play the whole thing, cause I fucking love it. Okay, you guys, if, again, if you saw my other review, you know this song is not my song. It's just, uh, I can't even go in to repeat it, but for the people who didn't see the other review, I feel like this song is just too melancholy for me. It's like sad, even though the lyrics are supposed to be like uplifting. It's too much of a contradiction for me. And I don't like the melodies because they're sad. I don't like it. Sorry. Skip. Always skip. Escondite Inglés. Maybe this was a song that people were hating and not up to Nair and C. I don't know, but this is my favorite. Another favorite. It's so weird, it's so different. I love the sample of, what is it? Isn't this Lobster Rock from like the 80s? Bitch, what kind of genius? Unless it's a turbo vocals right here. So deep, so sexy. I love when she gets down into that register. It's so hot, let's hear it again. Amazing! She's kidding me with that, right? And then once that sample kicks in... Kick in, sweetie. That little boop boop boop! I fucking live for that. Maybe the reason people don't like this song is because of the lyrics. Like, this is my form of hide and seek is what she's saying. I guess it's a little cheesy, but... Because I don't really understand the language like that, I don't give a shit. I love the way the words sound. I love that beat. I love that. This is really where the sample comes in. Right? Or maybe it comes in later. Whatever. I like it. It's very rock. Very rock. And I would love for her to sing that live, by the way. I feel like it would be so much fun. It would be so much fun. Okay. No. No is my song. Skip. What can you say about this song besides classic Shakira? Beautiful, beautiful, oh my god. So sad, so real. Let me just hear that chorus. That, see, I'm telling you, when she, when she hits that right melody, her songs are perfect. And this is a perfect example of it. 
no se puede vivir. And that music video is so beautiful, like the black and white, the like butterfly wings. Doesn't she have that, like where her butterfly wings like fall off? I think it's that music video, right? <gasps> beautiful. This is probably one of her best songs. And when she performs on Oral Fixation Tour, amazing. Oh my god, I fucking live for it. And I like how it like it starts off kind of slow. Or like not sl it's obviously slow throughout the whole song, but like her vocals aren't as out there. And then towards the end, it gets more powerful, I feel. Or maybe the instrumentation gets more powerful. Yes. Oh my god, the build. It builds up, but it never gets too crazy. It puts you right in that perfect mood. That like, the last minute has the, this perfect atmosphere. Woo! A fucking song. And then she's like, no, no, I'm like, yes. Or I'm like, no, whatever. Amazing. Last I learned to Xion. Okay. Um. I think this song is cute. I'm gonna say cute. Not my favorite. I don't know why. Maybe I need more instruments in it. I don't know what, what it is with this song that I'm not obsessed with it, even though I feel like I should be. Maybe if, the chorus is cute. Let me hear the verses again. Verses. I love the verses. The chorus is like just cute to me. That's how I feel about it. But I do love the lyrics. I don't know. I'm very middle of the road with this song. I don't know why. Although I love the music video with the purple wig and everything, I'm like, okay, bitch. Very creative, very fun. Yeah, okay, this song is... I feel like it could be better than what it is. Like, it has the potential to be amazing. Maybe the production is lacking. I feel like it needs more of a punch. Because it's kind of like a dance track, but it needs more punch, bitch. More bass, something. That part is catchy, though. I love that. The little whispering, amazing. Oh, my God. If you know me by now, you know that I love Dia de Enero. Why? Why should you know that? Because I love the cheesy little romantic songs. I fucking live for it. This is my favorite song on the album, actually. Yep, I'm gonna say this one's my favorite. Obviously, it's very hard for me to choose, but this one, oh my god. So fucking cute. She sounds like a little child singing it. Like, yeah. Ugh, I live for it. And that little instrument, when does it come in? Like an accordion? Doesn't that come in so, at some point? It's so cute. And this chorus, I just wanna... The poco poco. Ugh. Mm -mm. I can't even give words to explain this song because I fucking love it. Doesn't this make you happy? This song makes me so happy. Like, you just feel the joy through it. This instrument. This is not an accordion. I don't know why the fuck I call this an accordion. Isn't this like some instrument from Argentina? Someone let me know what this is. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love the video, love the song. Wow. Totally my one of my favorites. 100%. <clears throat> now this is a song where she is giving you like a heavy kind of, not heavy metal, but like a metallic type of sound. I love this song. And then when she kicks in with the verse, get to the verse, girl. I just wanted you to hear that vocal. Una machina. Una machina. Like, yes. She's like threatening on this, on this song. Do we agree? Like, she's coming in to kill you, bitch. She sounds like iRobot. Like, I feel like that's what's gonna happen. And then we get, and then the production slows down. It gets rid of those like metallic heavy sounds, which I love. But then we slow it down and we get sad, bitch. We get sad. This is one of my favorites again. Oh my God, the chorus, the chorus is incredible. Right? Do we agree with that? I think, what is she saying? Well, that's on me. So if you leave me, if you leave me, she's not gonna be happy. I'm assuming. <laughs> she, you, she's a hopeless romantic, sweetie. She really is. Yeah, this song, one of my favorites. Very theatrical, very dramatic. Every time she comes in with the una machina, I'm like, mm hmm. I'm li on this album. She does a whole lot of um, a whole lot of like deep drama. Mm hmm. And that's why I'm loving it. 
All right, the last two tracks on the album are just like... Is the reggaeton remix of La Tortura, which I love, and then the acoustic version of La Parade, which I also love, but I think the... I don't know, I think I like the original more. I like for the production, but they're both good. So overall, love this. This has to be my favorite album. I don't think besides... Let me scroll through. Besides Dia Especial, um, besides that song, I live and I could just... Even with that, I'll let it play, honestly. But it's just like 10 perfect tracks. Is it not? And it has... It's probably her most cohesive album. This and She Wolf, I want to say, are her most like... Set, you know, thematic, I guess, type of albums. Even though all the songs are slightly different, but like... It fits a, all, a total mood. And it's a great mood, bitch. I fucking love it. Definitely her most dramatic album. In terms of production, I feel like. It's very, like, heavy. It's, like, on the heavy end. But I do wish she put more bass into it. If she took what she did with She-Wolf, not specifically the dance parts of it, but just, like, the bass and the heaviness of it and put on here, this album would be even more amazing. But I fucking love it. Favorite tracks. In Tooth Bupias, bitch, yes. La Pared, yes. La Tortura. Alright, I'm just gonna name all the freaking songs. Afterna Un Si, Escondite Inglés, and Dia de Enero, I feel like are so underrated, and they're probably my three favorite tracks. I don't give a shit. I will listen to Dia de Enero to the day I die on repeat, bitch. This, this album gets a five-star rating from me. How's this review longer than the rest of the Shakira album? Meanwhile, this was, like, shorter. It's because I love it. I fucking love it. All right, let me know how you feel before I keep going off the deep end with this album. Uh, let me know how you feel about this album. Give me your favorite songs. Tell me how you feel about the ones that I was saying were underrated. Dear Dan Nero. Don't come at me with the hate of that. Or Obtener Unsi or Escondite Inglés because I fucking love those three. Um, I wish she performed the whole album live on that tour, by the way. Like, every song deserves a live performance. Especially La... La Incom... Uh, where is that? Lo Imprescindible. Girl, she got some long ass titles on this album. But yeah, comment, let me know how you feel about the album, how you feel about my opinions, I guess. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want, and have a nice day, my Shocky fans.